Oh, and we laugh. Hey guys, Makeup Sire here. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I got my sis, my good sis, and my chair. Finally, she been slaying my hair. You know, most of the braids that y'all seen on my channel. Yeah, your yeah, girl did them, <laughs> period. So I am basically giving her a soft slay, which is basically minimum um, eyeshadow um, and a natural uh, slay. So um, right now I'm just basically taking these colors, blending them in, infusing them. I'm doing this really, really softly. This is how I blend out the edges of my cut crease. Um, you know, just softly blending that color, that color into the middle of her eye. So I'm not doing a cut crease right here. I'm just basically applying concealer and taking this brush right here and basically blending that concealer out softly without, you know, losing that form. Um, and this is just so that we can have some base, a, a base for the top coat that we're going to put on there, which is like a really um, metallic uh, red. Um, and that's out of the Juvia's Place palette. And I honestly love that um, that shadow. But in order for it to really, really pop and not seem matte, um, I applied the concealer, which is in the shade Chestnut. And I am basically setting that with... Um, a brown contour out of the um, crayon case the matte book um, just to get that color on there so right here this is where I'm applying that um, that shade from the Juvia's Place palette um, and I just like how it looks when you have a base because it just looks really it looks still you know popping but with the base it looks so much better so Moving on to the face, I am using Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Espresso and Cocoa. Um, I had to mix some shades together just to find her perfect match, and honestly, this was perfect. And mixing those two shades together gave her a minimum, kind of like a medium to uh, full coverage uh, without look, making it look too cakey. So I really like this foundation. You guys already know how I feel about Wet n Wild foundation. I just like how lightweight it feels and it still looks full coverage. So right here, I'm basically putting on concealer. This is in a shade Toffee and Chestnut. I mixed those two together because um, I didn't want it to be too light, nor did I want it to match too perfect to her skin tone. So. <laughs> so right now i am setting her face using the jcat uh prolux powder in the shade uh porcelain and i'm basically setting everywhere i just um uh i basically just concealed <laughs> i'm about to say contour i don't know why but <laughs> i'm basically setting everywhere i concealed so Level that up. <laughs> that just made that go from zero to hundred. Okay, so now that the lashes are on and her face is set, we're moving on to the contour. So I am using the Crayon Cage. This is their Contour palette. And honestly, I use the darkest shade out of this palette and as well as a little bit of that dark shade out of the, the Matte Book palette from the Crayon Case as well. Just to get those cheeks nice and snatched. Um, and just because I'm just super extra when it comes to contour, I just like the face um, to look really, really snatched. So the medium shade out of that palette is where the contour palette and basically dust away all that um that powder that we had on her face that was just basically baking okay and then you know of course i'm gonna cut those cheeks using that same powder um that i used to set her under eyes as well as the rest of her face and then dust away that powder using that same medium shade 
I'm using the um, NYX Finny Matte um, Finishing Spray. And then, I'm, of course, you guys already know, I set the face um, completely in using the bottom of my Beauty Blender just to seal the deal. And now that she is done, I thank you guys so, so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, please feel free to subscribe before you guys leave. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next tutorial. Thanks again for watching. Bye.